Guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today with a normal voice again. <laughs> yes, but why are we back here? In the sky. Well, as you can see as you can see, this is the Temple of Time. And we were here because we got ourselves a new stamina vessel. That's what happened in the last part. And now we're going to jump back down. Or I could just teleport and save myself the time. But as you know, there's more islands than just the Great uh, Sky Island. There's more islands here. What's that? Oh, I know, I know. Um, as you can see, there's tiny small islands. They don't really do something, but I know that there's more islands around here on the map. This is still where we need to be. Near Impa. The thing is, though, we couldn't reach the tower uh, until now. So we do not actually know how this terrain looks like. And, oops, the clouds obstruct the view, but down there is a picture of Raru. And it's said to be, look, there's a tower. Um, the clouds obstruct the picture right now, but it's... The, the theory is, Impa's theory is that... Dragon Tears have created those, or that Dragon Tears are near or even within those paintings. As you can see, there is a Pura pad. We've already seen that. There's also another tower. There she uh, there he is again. That's Raru. That's where Impa is. And. I'm just gonna spare uh, also have the time. I'm going to teleport down here. Here we are back again. Impa's over there. And I think we still need to talk to her. We have not yet found what we were searching for. Because I think I went up there and almost died. Because there's very some uh, very uh, something very funny up there. There's the tower. It's so close. Something very funny up there, which I didn't really think would exist, but it does. Um, so I ran off to the shrine, did the shrine, and then got the stamina vessel. Oh. I believe this geoglyph is one such image. Yeah. But I just... Hmm, I just can't figure out what dragon's tears might be. Would you look around for me? It should be somewhere here. Well... I've already tried using the Ultra Hand... ...on these rocks. Just please, game. Please, game, don't tell me. Or oh, maybe it's in these ruins here. I haven't checked these yet. I will do that very sh shortly. A Korok? We found you already, right? Yes, all right. Um, yeah, because the thing is, you can't move these, um, well, stones. We can take these fire fruits, though, gladly, always gladly. I just hope I don't have to fight this, uh, those guys over there in order to get what I want and need to get. Oh. Uh? Oh, I almost got it. 
I just... Great. Maybe you've heard it in a recording. Windows decided to send me a notification. And sometimes... I was like, huh? Wait. Because sometimes... Well, there was quite a few times when I was recording that my safe space would run out of safe space. <laughs> so, couldn't record anymore and it just um, ended the recording for me. And I was like, wait, that can't be, because... Um, do I have anything I could throw away? I have two torches, okay. Because... Um, I have so much safe space Almost a terabyte still. And I was like, I need to check this right now, but... No, it was just some weather dump shit. So... It distracted me and really didn't do good for the recording. <laughs> so many fire fruits here. I mean, yeah, I can use them to defeat these idiots. I also still have a flaming meta shield. Could also build myself a flame emitter um, thingy, torch, for example. I will also. Ooh, that spawned in a in a place where it shouldn't spawn. I will also do that now. Torch. There we go, two flame emitters. Just wanna see them burn. As we said, the problem is finding the dragon tier. I just have no clue. I never saw these. What they look like? Or if it's hard to find them, if they're like stuck beneath a rock or something else. I will fight these idiots in a minute. Oh! Well, that's also good because they hate bees. I just need to get an arrow, I think, onto. Those. No, I just... No, why would he turn around? Oh, no, okay, he's sending his idiots in front. Or oh, is he? No. Okay, let's try this. Wait for them, wait for them, wait for them. Now. Oh, they didn't see me. Well, the idiots did. But I meant the bees didn't see me. We can just burn those idiots away. Ooh, what was that? Oh, look. So much meat. That is very good. Oh, he had bombs. I didn't see that. Okay, we don't have any power right now, so we can't emit flames. Oh my god! I think we need to... There you go, use one of those. Shit. Oh god, that was close. Um, take out the weapon, take out the weapon, yeah, the arm. Oh god! I couldn't... I couldn't hop! It didn't let me hop! It didn't let me side hop. That's a failed plan. <laughs> it works with the bees, they just don't do much damage, I think. Because of the big guy. Well... What the heck? Why did it save here? Okay, the bees are now gone. That's not good. I can have two. Oh shit, bomb arrows though. Instead of bombs or and fire fruits. 
And I will use the bombs against you, idiot. Burn. And I can fly. And do this. And more of them. Oh, I blew up all the other idiots because... Or most of them. Because... Um, one of them had bombs. Didn't he? Shouldn't... I was gonna say, shouldn't a skeleton technically... Uh, be very flammable. Ow. That did a lot of damage. No, I wanted a shield. Thanks. What? No more shields? Shit. <gasps> There's another idiot! No, I meant the big guy. Okay, flurry rush, come on. Okay, he died, that's good. And where's the last idiot? Wasn't there a skeleton? Right here, no? Okay, no, we made it this time. We made it this time. Easy! I forgot my timer again! <laughs> I forgot my timer again. I'll start it now. No more melee weapons. Alright, let me just throw away... Throw away this one, so I can... I didn't want a fix stick, but thanks. That, there we go. Soldier's Claymore. Mm. Oh well! What else do we have? What about the meat? Is the meat still somewhere? Hopefully it didn't despawn. Let me just... Let me just... Real quick. Until it's broken. There's some meat. Yep, there we go. Not much though. Um, uh, maybe... Or well, maybe it's safe that I collected the rest? I don't know. We'll need to look that up. There's more... Bokoblin... Horns, fangs... All of it. Give me the shield, thanks. I will switch to the flame emitter door. Alright, yeah. Problem is still now. I have no clue what these dragon tears look like. There's another shield? Oh, okay. Just a rusty shield. We still have this one with what, 18 defense? No, 16. Close. <laughs> Still have that one. I think I'm gonna use it for the next enemies. Because I have a bad feeling that I need to fight them. If you have seen the last part, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the last part, what the hell are you doing here? Watch it. <laughs> and while you're on my channel, why don't just... Press the subscribe button and activate the bell. That way, you will never miss a new part of this Let's Play. And my other projects as well. If you're interested, check them out. Alright, enough plugs. Let's go eat something first. Um, yeah, only one raw meat. That is not good. I have so many apples though. I can eat a lot of them. <gasps> All right. I have a bad feeling about this. Oops, I didn't mean to do this. All right. Do I really need to cut the fingers? I could have used those two bomb barrels. Yeah, I really could have used those two bomb barrels. For this boss. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is technically a boss. It has a health bar, so... Uh, 
Maybe, oh, I only have 12 arrows left too. Let's not do that. Let's not fight those guys. Let's either save it up for the next part or let's see what our surroundings have to offer. I would love, I would love to um, go and activate the tower first. Ah! Interesting. So you see... They can't fly anymore if I do this. Which is good. Because the less flying keys, the less... Um... Worry you have. Or the less you have to worry about. Good, good knowledge. I will keep that in mind for tight caves, for example, and many, many keys. Just get one of these suckers and you're golden. That's also an enemy bit, uh, like a Bokoblin base, isn't it? Oops. Wait, isn't that... Isn't that... Um, what the Koroks, or who the Koroks were talking about? What up, buddy? I found you. Those trees over there. Yeah, has to. It was so scary, Shalaka. Oh, moving trees? Ah, oh, side quest. Yeah, moving trees. Oh, did you see that? One of the... Zonai rocks just fell down from the sky. And landed right here. I don't think I have enough stamina to even get onto the um, horses. But or enough stealth, not gonna lie, I think my stealth is also shit. Yeah. <laughs> One horse saw me. Ow! Stupid bitch. <laughs> okay, wind doesn't affect them. Yo, look at that. Uh, do I even want to know what's that? Do you even want to know what that is? Do I? Big massive... You holy shit! <laughs> that scared me a second. Yeah, obviously I can't fucking hit a stone thingy with some stupid ass. Oh god. Ow. Okay, I will leave you alone. Yeah, it's okay. I will leave you alone. Bye bye. Of course I can't hit a stupid ass stone. Uh, <laughs> with some wood. What else do we have here? What's the Oh god, hiding pine cones! More of these stone thingies. Can I even get up there? There's so much water. And I forgot the flower that gives an updraft. I could do it with that one. Don't I have them in my inventory? Not the Haru herb. Okay. White floor. Oh, can confuse. Interesting. No, I don't think I have such thing in my inventory. I don't really want to waste any more endurance. My shield has. Or some stupid stuff. I think I found a shrine. Um, I think. Ow! No. Why? I wanted to do this. There we go. I think it was this this fruit right here. Cause we could. Really. 
We could make that, I wanted to say. Yeah, it was. Oh, we can't, no. No way. Uh, but there's stuff to build, I just noticed. How did I only just notice that? Oh, great. Someone's at the door, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, it was just a neighbor. Um, yes, ultra hand. Let's build ourselves a massive bridge again. Uh, um, there we go. Great, can't do it here. Oh, I could, but I <laughs> couldn't see shit, so... Thing is, I have no clue how long it needs to be. So let's just put all of these four together. And then try it. And if not, we have more platforms, the smaller ones. I hope that this works though. Oh, it looks good. Looks good. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Up to the tower. And let's activate it. It's funny that <laughs> this rock is right in the middle of this lake. Alright, guys. Let's... Cosplay as a ballistic missile once more and get some more map data. All right, Link, are you ready? Get launched. Here we go. Oh look, there's another chasm. We have to go in those eventually on our way. But first, look at how massive. So Hyrule Ridge and Tabantha Frontier. Two things we were able to scan. Surface map updated. Oh, and a lot of sky islands. Sky map updated. Look at that stuff. Alright. Back down we go. I would say. If I was an interest, look at this structure. And with our new enhanced stamina, we can glide. For quite a while longer. So, let's check out this island up here. 
Oh, and that's where we need to go, I think. This looks very icy and cold, this mountain top. Okay, where do we find ourselves here? That was very close, Link. Ooh, Sunderleon. White plant grows in the sun high altitude. Soaked in sunlight, it petals can restore health depleted by gloom. Ooh, very useful in the chasms. Ooh. What is this? Don't tell me. A big teleporter? Courage Island. Why am I supposed to jump through this and glide down? Like, in pilot wings? I am. I am supposed to do this, really? How cool is this, please? And into the water, I'm guessing. There we go. Got them all. And it spawns a shrine. Obviously, sure, yeah. <laughs> there we go, looking good. Let's go ahead and do this one. <gasps> a fairy, let's go. Got a fla- uh, a fla- a fairy. And more stuff where you can trade. Oops, not the map. But where we can trade our cores or zone charges. Ooh, oh, I see new stuff. I see exciting new stuff. Time bombs? <laughs> oh my god. And the balloon. Cool. Bombs. More bombs. No. Fairy, no. Okay. Well, we have one, but still. <laughs> Alright, let's do the shrine. Tony shrine. Let's see what it offers for us. Combat training archery. We don't really have much ammo uh, left anymore, really. But I... Oh, this is for bullet time. Oh, but we get a bow and arrows. Ah. Cool. So, not. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here. Heed my instruction. Draw your bow in midair to heighten your senses. Focus. Target your enemy with an arrow. And release. Your other attacks are inefficient, ineffective here. Ready yourself. I know, I know, I know. I know how bullet time works. I wanted the bow and the arrows. Ooh, that was lucky. <gasps> I picked up this arrow. <laughs> Hello. I have to say, I didn't realize that bullet time took stamina. <laughs> I only realized it right now. Well done. Ooh, three more. 
Heighten your senses again. Take aim. Defeat the enemies. Easy. Pew! Oh, come on. Pew! Okay, I did hit him, but... Oh, uh, no, it's enough. All three! One shot, one kill. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Ah, not before I, I, I collect all this stuff. <laughs> Zona is sword. No more melee weapons, it tells me. Um, don't care about the helmet. Give me the swords, because I can take... I can do cool stuff with it. No more bows. Wait, can't I just... Fuck this bow. <laughs> I want this bow. Yeah, okay, cool. Right. There we go. Was an easy shrine, to be honest. But what's in this chest? Probably some... No, ooh, 11 damage with a strong construct bow. Or well, 11 attack power. And it looks good. It looks looks a bit better. I mean... Hello, boss. Look at this. Look at this. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I like these bowls. They look very cool. Alright, please. I want another light of blessing. Visitor to this shrine of light that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. That's our first one again. Three more and we can get another heart container or stamina vessel. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Alrighty, guys. That's it for this part. Let's see what we can do in the next with the new map. Maybe we find some more. Islands, I was gonna say. Or some more interesting stuff, especially with the dragon tier. But what's with you? Welcome. This is the site of a ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No challengers have visited this island in a long time. I'm glad you have come. I witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence with the dive ceremony. Um, okay. Could it be that you do not know the ceremony? Allow me to explain. The dive ceremony is a trial that tests your courage. It is a rite by which Sona you've come of age. The starting position is the sky island far above. Challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. I wish you luck in formally overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit to mark adulthood. Oh yes, please. New outfit. New outfit. New outfit. Ah, uh, I perhaps forgot to mention one thing. I require one zone A charge. Oh, yeah. We have 20 of those or something, so... All good, all good, all good. Here. Yeah. Then follow me to the starting position. 
Your task is to pass through all the rings in 35 seconds or less. Easy! Should be more than doable. Okay. Just can't see it. Oh no, I need to glide. Okay, easy. Look at that. 25 seconds. Not even. 24 seconds. Your time is 24.16. I have borne witness to your courage. I have here the mark of your maturity. You have earned this. Not bad looking. Ooh, Skydive mo Mobility. You may be able to beat the current record of 20 seconds. Do I get another thing for that? I don't know. If you know, please tell me in the comments. And we will do this in one part again. Um, another part sometime. Um, but I really do not know. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> really do not know if he gets something else too. Alright guys, now it's time. I will see you in the next video. You know how to get there. Hit the subscribe button, activate the bell. Easy. I will see you yet again. If you like this part, obviously, if you're down there already, why is subscribing? Why just not press the thumbs up button? I would greatly appreciate it, and it lets me know that you are enjoying this project. Alright, without further ado, I hope you are having a great day. Stay safe out there, guys, and I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye.